Kathleen's trying to set up the head and arm choke. That's her choke. She's setting it up. And she's got her hands locked. She's in the wrong side, though. She's on the wrong side. She's got to get her right leg free. Sarah has she's got to keep her in the half guard. Sarah yes, she does. Her half guard. She's got to step over there. Well, Sarah did a smart thing by oh. getting up against the cage so that Kathleen can't. She's in trouble. Oh, oh, she, got oh, she got it. Whoa. Whoa. to remain undefeated. There is a new contender at 135 pounds. Enter Ketlin Vieta, brought to tears. A minute now to go. Yeah, one minute. Been a great fight so far. This third round especially, a very good striking battle between these two ladies. Nice little body kick there from Sajara. Nice, good movement. And a good counter from Eubanks after Vieta had landed. Nice job there. So tall, trying to jump on Vieta's back is going to be a difficult task here in the third round. With 19 seconds left, she just got to start throwing leather. Perhaps a late submission attempt here. Not going to happen. Big ground strike lay up from Eubanks. Great so fight. Sajara Eubanks and Ketlin Vieta go the distance. Competitive 15 minute fight featuring two of the division's top 13 in the weight class in which they are all chasing the all time great, the future Hall of Famer, the lioness Amanda Nunes. Ketlin Vieta! Oh. Front kick cut upstairs for Tate. But paid for with a big shot from Vieta. And now these two ladies are empty in it. And it's Misha Tate pressing this action. For a long time, Misha was uncomfortable with these types of exchanges. But look at her. And it's the improvement that she has made in her stand up that allows her to be confident in the face of this type of art club. Another one, two from Tate. And right now you can tell she wants to be in there, even though I feel like she's behind in the fight. Oh, big knee to the body from Vienna and a big right hand. Busts open the nose of Tate. Vienna trying to dodge the heavy damage. Tate trying to corral her Brazilian opponent. There's the horn. We go the distance. Anybody's guess? I, I, I think Kedlin won the fight. I do believe she won the fight. I wouldn't be surprised, 3-2, Vieira, but a very good fight, better to fight. And honestly, when Kedlin goes back and watches this, she'll see some opportunities that she didn't really get to take advantage of, but did a lot of great work. Damage doesn't always tell the story. T.J. Dillashaw looked pretty busted up. Kedlin, Vino, Vino! Yeah! 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 Yeah!